Today, I'm going to show you how to dominate the YouTube description game and do so effortlessly. And we're going to be using niches for this, which is one of my favorite ways to write YouTube descriptions since I picked the tool up a couple of weeks back. So let's get started by logging into our niches account and creating a marketing plan. And we're going to do so for my latest video, which is increase email conversions with SendSpark. The name of our business, we are actually going to type in SendSpark. What the business does, we increase email conversions. Now, a tip from Malcolm is to say we when it asks what the business does and also keep it pretty brief and pretty short. So that's not something I have been doing, but we're going to try that out and we're going to see if in the future it does a better job. I actually love the job that it's been doing. So, you know, no matter what you give niches, if you don't like it, you just generate more marketing copy. Select the category the business falls under. So we're going to go with YouTube here and then we're going to select blog post intro, email subject and body newsletter and YouTube opening line. And then I'm going to jump on the SendSpark website real quick and I'm going to copy the We Connect customers. And then for the title of our post, we're going to go with SendSpark review, increase email conversions with video. Now we just have to generate marketing copy and we have our YouTube descriptions. Now my latest video is finishing updating. So I'm going to show you how I write these descriptions. We're going to start with this one right here and I'm going to jump back and I'm just going to paste this in. I'm going to add a sentence here that says SendSpark helps us do that in a 2021 world. And I'm going to do an emoji, the little finger point, and then I'm going to do an affiliate link for SendSpark. It's always important to put the link you want clicked on above the fold in your YouTube descriptions. So we're going to just type in SendSpark there, and then we're going to change the it here to email. We're going to change this build real relationships with your email list. And this pretty much nails it, but see how it cuts off right here. So we're going to finish this sentence. Choose which ones you would like to include in the emails you write. And let's see what the email subject and body newsletter has. So right here, I like this one right here because it's talking about video. So we're just going to paste this in as well. Video is the most powerful tool. It lets customers see you smile and hear you talk. We're just going to add one sentence, add videos to your emails. Now I'm going to jump back out and I am going to come down here to the YouTube opening line and right here, this is pretty good. I like this. We're going to paste this right above. So now our YouTube description is looking pretty good and we've spent only a few minutes on this. I'm just going to paste in some links down here and I'm going to change this. So now our description is looking good and it didn't take us any amount of time at all. It's a real quick one today, but it is something that I am using every time I upload a video to write the descriptions to my videos. And I think it's doing a better job than when I used to sit there and type it all out and think about it and stuff like that. And I don't think anyone reads them anyways, but I do think it does help convey what the video is about to YouTube. So now I've added my thumbnail. I've given it a title. The only other thing I have to do is add some tags. And what I like to do for my tags is actually jump onto YouTube and I like to search what I'm looking for, which is SendSpark review. And we're going to open up the first couple of videos and then we're going to go in and see what they used for tags. So right here, we're just going to copy these tags and we will copy it to a clipboard. I'm using TubeBuddy for this and we can paste the tags here and then we'll come to the next video and we will copy these tags and then we'll paste them in here. And then we'll come to this one here and he's got no tags and a short video description. So notice how all of these have short video descriptions. I don't think they're taking advantage. I really think there's something to that. I think in a few days we'll actually outrank these videos, despite the fact they have quite a head start on us. They have a ton of views, way more subscribers. So the other thing I like to do is actually delete out a few of these that I don't think make any sense. We don't need AppSumo or Lifetime Deals, any of that. I'd rather have Loom Alternative, Vidyard Alternative, as well as my actual title here, Increase Email Conversions, things like that, just because I think that that helps more convey what this actually is about. So this is the way that I set this up. Uh, the description here looks a lot better, I think, than the competitors that we're going to try to outrank. And let's go ahead and click save. We'll come in and we'll add our cards and our end screen and we're good to go and make it live. 
Hopefully this video has brought you some value. I think the YouTube description section, it's just my personal opinion, is often underutilized because no one wants to put the time into it. Well, niches can help.